so on this video we're going to be doing some bit testing on gdp usd and then first things first uh let's move to an hour chart and then on the hour chart i'll squeeze out like the price action and then move back to a higher time frame whereby i'll be cutting off the price action and then start by analyzing each and everything then we begin so i'll start on uh 2019 uh just because uh i have a pro plan so i can't go back uh more than that just stick to 2018 or 19 and then yeah that is it so i've cut out like the price action so far and then this is what we currently have on the 2018 i think it's 2018 yeah, i think it's 2018 and on the current day it's monday 06 uh, october 2018 so uh, now we look at the price action and then just uh, build an image out of that price action then we have like this high here then we have this bottom here then we have the overall ascending channel here and then we had like a nice double top at the top of the structure of which it's within here and then we had like this nice push down here and then we are in that corrective phase within this point here and then what i'm expecting is for the market to give us like a larger flag from here and then we look for those continuations to the downside and then first things first uh, you just have to have uh, your rules in place before you can start like uh, back testing your strategy so my rules are simple i just have to take five trades on each trade i'll be risking one percent and then my daily drawdown or my overall drawdown to be at five percent just like uh your pro firms the pro firm challenges like your ftmo or your my forex funds the um are at about five percent drawdown uh your drawdown is about five percent on a daily i think so uh, those are my rules in place and then the other rules would be i have to manage my trades properly and then another rule would be that uh i have to take like low risk entries too much I like taking uh, risk entries too much just because I have um, a risk management in plan. So let's move to the four hour to the daily. Then on the daily, uh, that's where I'll be doing like uh, other analysis that require me to be in a good. So this is the double top that I was talking about, and then we have. The ascending channel at the end of the structure of which it's a good sign and then we are correcting within this point here that's where i'll be looking for those cells to continue up until the 90 percent rule and then if you just place a array line like this or a trend line like this you'll see that this is an overall trend to the downside no doubt about that <laughs> just like this and then you'd have like a pattern or then a pattern at the end of that structure and then looking at that structure we have a one two and then at the bottom we have a one two also so we can expect like a third touch that will pierce to the downside up until the 90 percent rule so i'll just remove those drawings and then move to a lower time frame of which is the four hour then on the four hour that is where i'll be looking at the overall structure that we have and then see if we can uh, make something out of it so we have this nice ascending channel around this point here and then i'll put a rail line at the top of the structure just to cater for that override and then i'll be having this high here and then uh let me just cater for this descending channel that we have uh, on this trend here this is the descending channel that we have and then let's switch to the hour so on the hour that is where i'll be doing like my overall forecasting so on this pattern here we have like two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom so which means we can get like a push to the upside reach the third touch and then we look for those cells and then up until the 90 percent rule of this pattern and the overall larger 90 percent rule so we can just uh, do that and then also here looking at this area here we already have like a nice push to the outside and then we can look for another corrective move 
of which I'll be targeting about three to four percent per trade. So if we get like something of uh, about three percent to the upside, then we can take it. Then we can get like that three percent that we want. And then we are targeting like uh, an overall target of about 10 to 8 percent just because most of the time prop firms require you to uh, get like uh, 8 percent or 10 percent on the first phase so that is what we're going to do that's our plan so let's do this so i'm done with my forecasting now i can just play the price section and see if we can get like an entry or not so let me just uh move it to about three percent three uh so let's see so we dropped back to the downside and then i think we had like this as our value area so what i'm thinking is that we can get like a double bottom button here and then we look for those buys from there so that's uh, what i'm looking at at the moment so let's see okay so it seems like we have created some type of a pattern like this and i can just i can just put another one like this and then at the slow here i'll just remove like the line like this and then we can get like a sell up to this point and then we look for those buys from here to here okay so just remove these things here seems like we are correcting at the top of the structure so what i'll do is that i'll i'll see if we have like two bottoms and then if we have one then we can take an entry so this is the two bottoms that i'm talking about like at this point here just like this so you can look for your bias at the top stop loss just below then we are targeting like the third touch at the top of the structure just like this and then my entry should be just above this point here so it seems to be attacked into the trade and then you move like your or you manage your trade at about one percent so at the moment we're at 0 0.58 percent so at one percent that's where i'll move my stop loss to break even And then another thing that uh, I'll be focusing on on this one is that we are breaking structure. As you can see here, we broke structure. As you can see here, we also broke structure. So I can just move my stop loss just below here. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll just do this and make it red. And then this would indicate like my stop loss. Uh, or I can just uh, use like a notation to the text. And then let me just say uh sl sl oh. S -L. and then let me just make it uh yellow and then make it to the left let's see oh it's on the left uh, let me take it to the right so that we can see it so that we can all see it settings to the right and yeah we have a stop loss in place so let me just put it a little bit below structure okay now we are fine and then let's just look at where we at so we're at 1.31 percent and then we're targeting 4.6 percent guys we were almost tagged out just because of i was using structure we are not tagged out as of yet so let's see so price is still playing around that same area and then seems like we are creating another pattern okay fine so now we are tagged out let's just see how much we tagged out with so we are tagged out at about 0 0.2 percent not bad for our first trade not bad and then remember we're taking five trades not bad our first trade so now we just evolve the structure and see what we can get <clears throat> so let's just do this 
remove everything, go back to a higher time frame, and just look if we have like a uh, price action changing on all of that stuff. So we have this high here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, it's good. So let's go back to the, our chat, refresh, and then what I'll do is that I'll just evolve like the price action that we have currently so that it can fit like um, the current market structure and then see if we can get like another entry that is very good. <clears throat> so let's do this. Okay, so we have a double top but then there and then we impulsively push the downside so we can look for selling opportunities from here if we get like a clear selling opportunity okay so let's move uh -oh, one two three four five six this is a missed entry for me just because i, I moved like uh this body plate too fast just because we wait for six to eight candles of which we got six candles and then i would have entered like a trade below here so it's fine i'll take it like as a missed entry it's fine and then guys you just have to be honest when you are backtesting be honest with yourself so that you can get like clear uh, clear results know if your strategy is working or not so I'm looking at that double top area so that we can get like entries from there. So let's just see if we can get like nice entries from there. Okay, we are at that double top area. And it seems like we are impulsively pushing to the upside. So I'll just wait and see if we can get like a clear push to the downside from there so we can take the entry. So we got like the clear push to the downside. So I can just place an entry just below. Let me just reset this. Uh, this here. <clears throat> to it's all. Okay, so another thing that uh, I'm trying to... Another thing that you should understand is that this is our second entry. So we are waiting for three entries so far. So we are targeting this low here for 3.12%. And then the lows for about 4.58% so let's wait and see so we're tagged into the trade still tagged in they didn't move to break even as of yet and it seems like we can create something of this nature something of this nature a larger pattern within here Maybe we can get like a first, second, and the touch before we can look for those cells. So it's another probability that we should be looking at. So let's wait. So it seems like we are tagged out 1% loss. Okay, it's fine. So now we are on our second trade. The first one was at 0.2% profit, and the second one was a loss. So now we can just look at the overall price action and see if we can get like entries from here. So let's wait and see if we can get like entries. Okay, so currently we are at this uh, movement. So we can look for those uh, impulsive moves to the downside and then we look for those source. So cool. So we had like a clear push to the upside. So it's currently pushing to the upside. Okay, so we got like momentum that is trying to show us that we can look for source. Okay. So we can just wait for six to eight hours. Let's see. We have how many candles. Each close here is one hour. There's a on the hour chart. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five currently. Six. And then another thing that uh, I'm trying to show you guys is that we must have like clear bottoms, which means the price action should be giving us like clear movement so that we can look for those nice sales. So yeah. So currently we are here. So let's wait and see. 
so i'm just going to take the into from this point here because if you filter it out you have like two buttons currently just like this and i'm going to place my saw just below here my stop loss just above the point here and then we aim for the overall 90 percent rule so let's see So now we can move to, let me see. No, not yet, just because we got like a retracement. So now we can move to break even, so just because we're at about 1.4%. So stop just around this point here. Our stop loss is around that point. Then we are aiming for 4.53%. So let's move. So now I can just move my stop loss from this point to the low. Just close that stop loss just around this point here for about 0.81. And then if you take like that uh, 1% that we took as a loss, and then you take that 0.2% that we took as profit, it means that we are at break even just because we logged 0.80 and then that 0 0.2 profit will lock out like the loss so which means we are at break even at the moment so let's see so we hit tp for 4.61 percent so this is our first trade this is our third trade yeah first trade was 0 0.2 second trade was a loss and then the third trade was 4.61 profit so let's see if we can get like another entry. So let me just uh, hide these ones here. All right. Okay, so let's look for another entry now. So the entry that I'm looking at so far, it's for us to get like a clear push to the downside and then a hover around this point here. And then we look for those continuations to the downside up to the 90% rule. So let's see if we can get like those nice things. <coughs> let's see. So I'll just move in closely uh, into this area here and see if we can get like something. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can take like this entry at this point here, but it's not like a entry that i'd like to take I'm just testing out things just because when you are like testing you must test out everything so this would be like your cell then your stop loss maybe just just above here and then you aim for the market to break like this uh, overall trend here then we look for those continuations to the downside sorry about that okay let's do this I don't know if I should say that we're tagged in or not, but I don't think we're tagged in as of yet. So what I'll do is that I'll just remove the entry. So we are on our fourth trade. So this is our last trade, guys. Just have to be honest with everything. So I'll just remove the ray line. And then what I'm expecting the market is because we're at the 90% rule and then we can get like a larger move a larger corrective move before we can get like those sell-offs so let's do this let's see a larger corrective move before we get like those sell-offs so let me just put a array line at the top <laughs> okay so we got like a deeper corrective move at this point here and after getting that deeper corrective move, then we have a large sell off. So what I'm expecting is for the market to give us some type of a tight flag, then we close the session just like that. So let's see. Then we broke structure, as you can see here. And then if I would have locked everything, this trade would have been uh, a banger. So let's see if we can get like a six to eight our tight flag 
so we have one two three four five six so far so what i'll do is that i'll just uh place the entry just below here just below here and then we aim for our last trade of which is about 6.6 percent .6%. so let's see what will happen okay so with this uh price action what i'll do is that i'll just evolve it and then place my entry just nicely so uh, we still aim now we're aiming for seven point something percent just because the tag flag is squeezing up at the moment so this is what we do most of the time you do this but this is what i'll do and then put like my stop loss just above here so yeah the entry is just below so we are tagged in and out so so far we took five entries firstly we took 0 0.2 profit and then the second one was a loss and the third one i think it was about uh the, the third one was about 4.6 percent and then the fourth one it was a break-even trade we got tagged in and out it was a break-even trade yeah we didn't get we didn't do a loss or anything it was a zero loss and then we took another one of which is was a tag in and tag out trade so that is it for today's uh back testing session and if you enjoyed these uh if you enjoy like this sessions you can just click the like button and comment below if you reached this far and then i'll see you on another uh, back testing session that's if you like them guys Shop, shop.